course, we have to be sure that we're not sort of abusing the length of their stride is what I call it, all right? So I have to create that feeling because he's no longer raising his spine behind this, up underneath the saddle or behind the saddle. He's just shushing it out in front of himself. He's swinging those shoulders more and more. Good boy. That's beautiful. MXK, we're going to free walk the diagonal. We're going to walk a circle down there at A on the free walk. Working the same idea, Autumn. So now, anytime I feel like I lose that, what the horse should do is he should lift a tiny bit my inside, outside, inside, outside hip. Okay? And you, if you don't feel it, you have to a little bit fake it. Just a tiny bit. And the tiny bit should encourage him to go back to that. All right? There are very few horses that I've seen in life that lead with a halter on to the pasture with a lateral walk. All right? Does that make sense? So you told me you have a desire to eventually be a trainer. This is something you need to pay attention to. Okay? If a horse walks laterally on the halter, then okay, the horse has a problem with his walk. But if the horse does not walk laterally in a halter, but yet somebody walks on his back laterally, the rider has a problem that has to be fixed. Okay? And frankly, we don't buy horses that have lateral walks in a halter. And this horse doesn't have a lateral walk in a halter. Look how normal that's becoming. Do you see it? I mean, feel it? Yeah, it's becoming a very beautiful walk. Yeah, because this horse is such a good mover that we want to make sure that we're getting 100% of his gait all the time. He gets busy, he forgets it. I'll just swing my shoulders. They're powerful. They work, right? Good. Is he swinging up, up? He's going to get in her he back. He forgot, right? Yeah, I started shooshing those shoulders. Okay, this is so pretty. What a very good boy. Stop. 